What's up, everyone? Um, hope you all been good. I've been meaning to uh, do this video for uh, a while now. I just uh, haven't gotten around to it, been sick and that sort of thing, but I finally pulled my most wanted champion um, during the last uh, event. It only took me about 30, 30 some odd shards um, before uh, I think they came out of an ancient and um, I I think I hit the roof. I was so ecstatic. It was a 10 times for someone else and I just wanted to pull shards um, um, just to, I think it was maybe a summon rush or a champ chase or something. At the time, I can't remember uh, anymore, but um, I pulled him and I it was right before CBC and um, couldn't have been happier. Uh, Prince Kaimar is literally a game changer on your account. Um, Prince Kaimar has this skill right here, resets the cooldown of all ally skills. So no matter what the cooldown is, if it's a five turn cooldown, if it's a one turn cooldown, it doesn't matter. Kaimar will reset it completely and you get a fresh new start. The second thing, um... I was looking for is he's got a pretty quick speed aura uh, for the arena. I was, um, you know, not really wanting to use Lysandra in the arena um, because all I really use her for is the uh, speed aura and the um, decreased turn meter, um, which other champions can also do. But she's weak and she's just fast and weak and, and ended up not working as well. Kaimar also has this remove all buffs and then replace, puts a sleep on them for a turn. Building him with accuracy, you're able to get um, a, a, another buff stripper on your team with a speed aura, with a reset, and then of course a, a, an AoE A1, which sometimes when you're putting a sleep, you don't really want to wake everyone up, um, especially if you're faster than them. But also puts a poison out, which uh, if this attack is a critical, so if you can build him with 100% crit rate, um, he's always going to put out a poison for a turn. Uh, and this does actually come in handy for some of the content that I use. So I'm going to show you today how much Prince Chimer has changed my account, how much better it's made. Um, and, and I'm just going to walk through some of the teams that I've created. Now, in saying that, I've been using Renegade. I've perfected, if you will. Uh, probably could still get better, uh, but Renegade has been my best champion. If you don't have a Kaimar, you can use Renegade. Uh, Yumiko does the same thing. Um, I think she places every three turns, uh, resets every skill by three turns. Um, so if it's on a four turn cooldown, you still have a turn that you need to deal with or five or six. Um, so it's kind of an in between a, a Kaimar and a Renegade. Uh, and then a, a pain keeper only does one turn cooldown. Now the biggest change um, for me, I think uh, two big changes for me. One is Spider. Spider 25 has got cut in half now that I have Kaimar on the team. And um, Doom Tower. Doom Tower has gotten that much more efficient uh, now that I have Kaimar on the team. So this was my previous team with Renegade in it. Um, we get the burns out, we get a double nuke, miscreated monster is in there to really protect the whole team. We get a reset, everyone has to do an A1, because Kaimar is not, or uh, Renegade is not that good. Um, and then we are able to nuke, 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 and then the burns finish the boss. Typically this run should be about a minute. So I have miscreated monster in a shield set, in a bolster set. So we're getting that added shield. We got the increased attack from Mordecai. Now we got a big juicy shield because of his um, skill. And we got some stuns out on there. We Here's we, we do the reset and we do a nuke again. We, basically, we just let the burns finish the boss off. At this point, finally we get the ally protect and then no one's going to die once the ally protect comes up. I mean, not bad. 35 seconds. 
Uh, so a pretty respectable 35 seconds for a team like this. We did get a little bit lucky and we did get a couple of refresh procs on Renegade and I believe on the Cold Heart as well. So we were able to get multiple nukes out. Um, but otherwise, you know, pretty darn good. So what has Kaimar done? So I had Sakia. I actually booked her out. She's amazing. Um, fully booked. I was using her for uh, Hydra and um, full mastery, full book. Uh, she maxed out. And then uh, I realized that on Spider-25, she was just doing way too much damage and killing the Spiderlings. And you don't want to kill these Spiderlings. That's also why I removed Miscreate and Monster off the team. Um, because he does damage on that A2 so that he could put the shield out. And instead, I went with a weaker Achak who puts out a, uh, I believe it's 80% or 90% freeze. So it's not 100%. Um, but he is strong affinity. So I have better chance at putting it on everybody. And it's a weaker hit. I was looking at putting out Yarkle um, because uh, he does have the 100% chance to put a freeze out uh, if they have more than 75% turn order so all you need to do is tune them so that the spiderlings get over 75% and then you're able to freeze them it's 100% can't be resisted uh, which is great um, but it also does damage so you'd have to book build them with zero damage zero everything and I didn't want that added damage on Yarkle to kill the spiderlings because what I was finding is um, Sakia was just hitting too hard. So here, what we're going to do, and the reason why I have Mordecai on the team is to place the burns so that Sakia can detonate them. And that's what her turn is. So he'll go with the A1 because that's all. We try to get the burns on everyone. We missed them on the one spiderling. Um, so this might not be the quickest of runs. We're going to do a full reset with Kaimar, re-put the burns out, the nuke is only there on uh, Cold Heart to keep the turn meter down. And we were going 22 seconds. Like I said, I missed the one burn, so we were a little bit slower in that sense. But as you can see, 16 seconds was my fastest run with this exact team. So, <clears throat> cutting my Spider 25 runs in half. Now, could I deal with a 35 second Spider run? Yes. Uh, and sometimes I actually do because I know that team's 100%. If Mordecai, for whatever reason, misses a couple of burns, um, this team may not work because Sakia is built like this. Um, so all I have is enough speed on the team to, in order for her to go when she needs to go uh, and and accuracy on the chest, accuracy on the banner, uh, and that's it. Like, that's how she's built. Masteries, as you can see, she's max. I just went down the um, some accuracy routes. Um, I didn't get eagle eye here because eventually i want to go down um put her back in if i happen to get a theodore uh theodore um increases the duration of all poisons and burns and then activates them so uh and this is a non-damage skill so there's no damage here so it would just be a pop and then zero damage up the team so i could get away with going one theodore and then building sakia out for damage and then using her again. So uh, as long as I tune it so that Theodore goes first. And then Sakia goes the second burn. And we've got double detonate uh, and the run's over. So uh, double detonate, reset, detonate whatever's left. And then we're done. So Doom Tower. Um, so I was finally able to build out on my Doom Tower team a poison exploding team which is probably one of the most used teams uh, out there. We have, uh, you know, three of these. So lots of poisons out, max out the poison bar, one explosion, reset, two explosion, reset, three explosion. So for a three turn to cool down, um, this Zavi is pretty much not going. The second champ has to go on a four turn cooldown. Um, <clears throat> and otherwise we have a Kaimar in there to refresh, which is basically the team that I use. Um, so this is the new meta here with Poison Exploding. We can see we got some resets. We have some um, Poison, but at the end of the day, the Seer teams are kind of 
out of the game at this point. Uh, I still do use my seer team, don't get me wrong, but on a team like this, and I only have um, Kale, Dark Kale in there to do an extend uh, on the buffs. We go full reset, extend, combust. Okay, we didn't get the proc, so it's going to be a little bit longer at this point. Um, we're just going to have to basically kill him dead and let the poisons do their job. Um, but if I do get a refresh proc on either Kaimar or um, Ellen, then this is a nine turn run, and I'm okay with nine turns. Otherwise, as you could see, we let the poisons do their job. And even if I don't um, get that reset, it's, they're still dead. Um, and as you could see, my best time being nine turns. So everything worked like clockwork. I only have Dark Kill in there to make sure everyone's dead. I could probably get away without Dark Kill. Um, but if I do have a third Calvalax, that definitely is going in there. So my dragon team has also changed. So um, before I had... I think I've gotten rid of it since. Yeah, I've gotten rid of it. So Ice Golem is very similar to the team I was using for Dragon um, with Renegade in there. I actually tried out Ice Golem with Kaimar, and it doesn't work as well as Renegade, surprisingly. And the reason is Renegade brings a slow, which helps I Ice Golem. I keep saying Iron Golem. Ice Golem out. Um, so slows down Ice Golem. Um, and uh, also has that delay so that it allows everyone to take an a1 turn now although i could set the preset on all the champions having renegade on the team being the fastest versus kaimar on the team um, allows the team to kind of cycle through do their damage in a case like this uh, i have the two calvalaxes actually using their a1 and potentially extending buffs so that when um, Ellen comes in to explode, we've had three chances at extending all of those buffs and more likely to explode the whole team. So that was my team. Now on 25, can't do that. Can't explode on the boss because the boss will reset, bring all the ads, side ads up, and then destroy you. So on 25, the only difference is I turn off the explosion for the boss's turn and I just let the poisons do the damage. That's literally the only difference between the two um, for Ice Golem. And because of that, I can get away. Like, I don't need Kaimar. The Kaimar is only in there to nuke, reset, nuke, which with three access, uh, refresh accessories on Ellen and Renegade, I'm able to still do the same thing. It takes me like five more seconds. So there wasn't a need for Kaimar to be on that team. My... Dragon team was very similar. I don't explode on dragon. I let the poisons do the damage on 25. On 20, I do explode. So very similar to Ice Golem. Um, the difference is I can explode and still be effective and, and be relatively quick. So that's why I put Kaimar on this team. And we'll quickly do a run um, to show that. So we got the poisons out. Um, Renegade would have gone and then we have the nuke so there we got the refresh proc and then we get to the boss okay and then what I do is I A1 everybody so that we have that chance in order to extend obviously the the uh, Calvalaxes are weak affinity here so less likely and then boss is dead with one explosion 30 seconds we're done and, uh, and that's pretty much it. And that's what Kaimar can do for a team like this. And then Arena. I don't use them for Classic Arena. I do use them in Tag Team. So again, we get that 30% speed lead with Kaimar. Um, I have Mithrala in there to with high resistance in order to um, uh, cleanse should we need. Kaimar's in there to reset. And then, uh, of course, uh, we have our damage and our, our, our attacking. So... My uh, UDK is not booked, so Kaimar coming in helps uh, with that extra shield and that extra cleanse, you know, double cleanse, double hex, that sort of thing. And then sometimes I'll interchange my DD here, depending on the team that I'm fight facing. 
So that's kind of where I insert Kaimar. Now, Kaimar can be built in many different ways. And this is actually one of the challenges that I had when building Kaimar. I had no idea how to build them. Um, you can build them super fast, which is you know preferable for the arena. You can build them high, 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 high resist, which is also preferable for the arena to counter people like um, hegemons and um, uh, warlords and um, yumikos and that sort of thing. So if they're putting your turns on, on uh, delay, you're able to just reset and everyone has their skills back up again. So there are many different ways uh, you can build up high accuracy because you're using him for that sleep, especially for arena. Um, so if you want to go offensive build, go high accuracy, make sure the sleep gets on, you cleanse all the buffs, and then you're able to uh, nuke, nuke, and kill the team. So depending on how you want, I actually went with a uh, untouchable set. So it's an immunity set for two turns plus the extra resistance. Uh, and then I went with accuracy on the chest and resistance on the banner so that I was able to get, you know, not great, but a decent 350 plus accuracy and resistance. Um, that's very hard to do. Um, plus, we got the 100% crit rate. I didn't care for the damage. I just need a crit rate. So crit rate gloves on them. Uh, and then decent speed uh, and decent survivability. So that's how I focused my build for Kaimar. Can I get that better? Absolutely. Um, but can I do it without sacrificing something? I don't think so. Uh, a crit rate glove with speed on it, speed boots with defense on it. Uh, as you can see, I still got to glyph them out. Um, and the only reason I haven't glyphed them out yet is because I don't know if I'm going to keep this build yet. Um, so far, it's working. I also don't want too much damage for my spider teams and, and some of the other teams that I have built. And then, of course, these refresh accessories, um, which definitely help. At the end of the day, I didn't care what they were. Uh, I just needed something with refresh on it. And I didn't care what it was. Uh, in this case, more defense, less HP. I went with the more HP uh, ring. And then same with the necklace. Crit damage over HP. I wanted the survivability, which is why I went this route. Um, and then if I had a banner, um, the right banner, like I have a, a resist banner... Um, I don't have another resist, so this is the best one. Plus, it's a double speed roll with uh, defense and HP percent. I don't think I could get a better um, setup with this. So it is what it is. Uh, can I make it faster? Yes. I can definitely replace a couple of these pieces with speed pieces. Uh, and then masteries, I went with full defense. I went with the added resist just so I can bump up my resist to get uh, over 300 and now that's why I'm at 350 because of Unshakable. I could have gone with Eagle Eye, but again, I wanted the balance um, with the set. So synergy wise, I think it all worked out. Um, he works the way he's set. I could get about another 60, 70 speed on him, sacrificing some of the other stats, but that's how I decided to build him. He has changed my account. He's changed the opportunities. And if you are able to pull a Kaimar, um, by far, I think, you know, one of the top champions that can um, change your account and allow you to do so much more than you are currently doing. But, and I think it's taken me three and a half years to uh, finally get a Kaimar. I've been using Renegade. I've actually built out a second Renegade for specific teams. And I still think Renegade can work. Uh, as long as it's tuned right, built right, if you don't have a Kaimar. Alrighty, I'm super stoked, super excited. I'm still going to look to make teams more efficient, but we'll catch you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.